Jack Sterling, welcome to LARP Mix. I want to show you how to make a really awesome magical item prop today, and it's something that I think would fit in multiple gameplay styles, whether it's parlor LARP or you know foam boffer or whatever you have, but also would fit multiple genres. Now the example I'm going to make today is going to be for a medieval fantasy setting, which I think is probably where this is best suited to be used. However, with your imagination, and depending on how you make up the prop, uh, you could probably use it in many different genres. It's very simple to make. It's very cheap to make. In fact, depending on what you have lying around your LARP workshop, it might even be free for you to make. So let's go ahead and I'll show you the items that you need to produce this effect. and. One really cool thing about it is that it uses real-world science to make the effect. And if you're familiar with Bernoulli's principle, you probably know where we're going with this. So the first thing you're going to need is a cardboard box. And you're also going to need a ping pong ball, a hair dryer, and you may want to get yourself an empty water bottle, uh, some paint, some fabric. It really depends on how much you want to do with this effect and how elaborate you want to get with it. I'm going to show you sort of my basic take on it, but you can definitely just use the idea and just run with it and make something awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is take this ping pong ball and I've decided to make it into an eyeball because I think that that's probably the easiest thing to do since it's a, you know, a small round ball, approximately eyeball sized. So we're going to paint this to look like an eyeball. So let's go ahead and do that now and then we'll get started on the actual effect. Okay, so now that we have this eyeball painted up, and uh, you know, I just did a pretty basic job on it here. You can take as much or as little time as you want to produce this. You could also just paint this ball glow in the dark green or something and use a black light effect on it. Um, depending on your genre, something like that might be cool for a sci-fi game. If you want to stick with the eyeball theme, you can do that. Um, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be perfectly round. You could try experimenting with other objects. But because a hairdryer is not that powerful, um, I suggest sticking with ping pong balls or little foam balls or something of the like. If you scale this up and build a much larger version using, say, like a leaf blower or something, then you might be able to use something like a beach ball or something more oddly shaped to make this happen and come to life. So I'll leave the experimenting up to you, but you can definitely scale this up and do whatever you want to with. In fact, you could even make multiple ones uh, with multiple hair dryers. Really, you know, your imagination is your limit when it comes to doing this, oh, and maybe your budget too. But let's go ahead and we'll start with this cardboard box. So what I did here with this box to start out is I cut the top part off. I cut a sort of a little train tunnel in here and I cut a small hole in the top of it. So what this is gonna allow us to do is insert the hair dryer through the hole in the back and this way you can turn it on and off and manipulate it and then also we can put a place for the air to come out with the hair dryer. So this is the most basic probably version you can do here. Um, you could build something much more elaborate, but this allows you to use, you know, <clears throat> something that otherwise would be waste. And also, you know, something like this is probably free. You can find it laying around. So it also keeps it budget friendly. If you don't want to store it, when you're all done with the effect, you can break it down, recycle it, and then if you ever want to build it again, you can just get another one and build it. So this is what we're going to do. Like I said, cut the top flaps off, side so you can reach your arm in here, and a hole in the top for the hair dryer. I want it to be centered on the box, but you can set it up however you care to. Now let's go ahead and make this look a little bit better and then we'll get the hair dryer installed in it. Alright, so what I have here is a black piece of fabric that I've cut a hole in and this is going to be helpful for obscuring the hole that we cut in the box and then I just have a black t-shirt and we're going to just turn that inside out because it has a bright logo on the outside of it. And what we can do from there is just take and cover the box with it and just use the neck hole as the hole here.
And then once you have that situated however you want it, we can take this piece of scrap fabric and we're just gonna put it right underneath the neck here and center it over the hole in the box. So you can do whatever you want to with this box. You can put foam on it. Like I said, you can paint it. You could wrap your own fabric around it. You can make it look a lot more elaborate. But if you want to make it like this, the cost for this so far is free. A free cardboard box, scrap piece of fabric with a hole in it, and a black t-shirt. So, so far I've spent no money. You can take this t-shirt off and reuse it, obviously. So this is the, going to be the base of our build. Make sure you keep that little train tunnel that we cut out in the back of the box so you're going to need to feed the hairdryer through there. Now you may want to do this part, you may not have to, it depends on how powerful your hairdryer is or if you're using a leaf blower or something like that uh, with PVC pipe connected to it or something, you may not need to do this, but if you're using a hairdryer, not all of them are that powerful. So I took a water bottle, I cut the bottom off, I wrapped it in an old sock, a clean old sock, and then I just cut a hole up where the top is, and then I tied it off. Now you can make this look a lot more elaborate if you want to, but I'm trying to keep this project very inexpensive so anyone can do it. What this will do is this will focus the airflow more from the hair dryer and bring it to a smaller point, which will give us more power as it comes out of the hair dryer. Because like I said, the hair dryer I'm using isn't that powerful. So now we have this little portion. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this through the hole and add it uh, to this podium that we're building for this magical item. And so far, the cost is still free. An old sock with a hole in it, a water bottle, we're looking good. And this is what you would have. And if you'd like, at this point, you could take your eye and set it on there if you want. Now the eye is actually going to be the magical item or artifact that we're going to require the players to get a hold of. Um, and so basically what we've built here is a podium or a stand for this thing. Um, it is large because this is the size of the box I had, but this box could easily be cut down. You could use a smaller box, a shoe box. Do whatever you need to do to fit your game. This is just a basic contraption for you to build off of with your imagination. And I hope that you do. So let's go ahead and finish this project up and show you where the real magic comes into play. Now we have the extra cardboard from the top of this box. If you have a pair of scissors, we can do the next part of this project. What we're going to do now is we're going to build a small frame to hold a hairdryer. So what we're going to do is take two of these pieces of cardboard and we're going to place them on either side and then we're going to use one more piece to slide down so let me go ahead and build that real quick for you here so you see what I'm talking about So what I've done is simply taken the width of the hair dryer and sort of just measured it out and made a little device which will be able to stand the hair dryer up in. This way you don't have to have someone stand there and hold it. Now if your hair dryer has a flat enough base you may be able to balance it. Um, if you want to build something a little bit more elaborate you certainly can. But for me this is free, it works just fine and we're still using are old pieces of the cardboard so it's getting repurposed and you know we're not wasting anything uh, so like I said so far I mean as long as you own a hair dryer if you have to have a ping pong ball this project the cost of it I mean to me is still free so I'm hoping that it is for you as well but now that we have this little device set up we can put everything together and actually test it out and see how it works let's do that so if you've made it this far, then you have your prop. We have our hole back here, we have our water bottle. Now, for me, what I'm gonna to need to do is take my hair dryer. I'm going to stick it in through this little train tunnel that we made. And I'm gonna plug mine into my water bottle. And then from there, I'm gonna make sure that this little support structure that we built is holding it upright and in place. Then I'll pull my t-shirt down over it 
and I'll be able to reach in through this hole in the back here and turn the hairdryer on and off so that way it's not running all the time uh, before my players get there. So let's go ahead and uh, set that up and like I said it's very simple I'm just going to stick this in, plug into the water bottle and then lower the entire thing down onto this support structure. So pretty straightforward I think. So it's a cloth covered box and of course you can make this a lot more substantial you could cut a hole in a small table or in an old card table and you can make this a lot more elaborate obviously you could also make it look you know quite a bit better but to make the project free and simple uh, this is pretty much what you're gonna end up with and if you're in a dark room it's gonna be very hard to tell what's happening anyways if you have some smoke machines or something running then this will look just fantastic uh, as far as the project itself for me at this point this project is completely free I had the paint I had the hair dryer shirt bottle cardboard old sock scrap piece of fabric everything I've had laying around so to me to build this cost me nothing um, if you had to pay to build this get a hair dryer used from like uh, Goodwill or a thrift shop if you uh, needed to get a t-shirt or something all the same things could be purchased at a thrift shop the only thing that you might have to pay for is ping pong balls but they're very inexpensive I would say even if you had to pay to build this you should be able to build this for under five dollars no problem but let's go ahead and turn it on and actually check out the cool effect I know that's what we've all been waiting for so leave it on the cool setting you don't want to put on a hot setting because then it might be a fire hazard it's gonna melt the bottle cause all kinds of problems for you so make sure the hair dryer is set on the cool setting and also make sure you're supervising it because you have it inside an enclosed structure so it's going to get hot anyways um, this is not something you want to leave running walk away from for an hour make sure that you wait till your players come turn it on and then do the thing and then make sure you turn it off when you're done because I don't want it to you know burn down anyone's camp or something so let's go ahead and turn this on and we turn it on the high setting we take our magical artifact, place it over top of the water bottle, and magic floating eye. Now from here, whatever the lure you want to have is, is up to you. But I would say, tell your players they need to come in and get this thing. So I hope you think this is a pretty cool effect. I happen to think that it's very cool. Um, it uses Bernoulli's principle, which you can look up on your own. But basically the air flows around it and causes it to stay floating while gravity pushes down on it. And uh, you know, science. Look it up if you're not sure how it works exactly. But very cool. I like things that use practical effects and this, I don't have to use my imagination to see an eyeball floating there in front of me. There is literally an eyeball floating there in front of me. So uh, to me, for the couple of minutes this took, uh, the zero to, to a few dollars that it took uh, and a little bit of time to put it together I think that this is something your players could really get into and you could use this for a lot of different things now one thing that you would have noticed is that this is very noisy so there's a couple ways we can try to mask the sound of that hair dryer if you have a quiet hair dryer a very quiet one it may be a lot easier but if you have a noisy one like I do couple things you could try is you could try some sound deadening material and see if that helps to make a difference but then that starts adding cost to the project but I would use a wireless speaker because I already have one uh, you could take a wireless speaker and put it inside the box so you can't see it and you could find something like uh, wind rushing or some sound effects on your phone and just have it you know Bluetooth connection to there or you know however you need to do it tape cassette player whatever you have on hand with a lot of loud ambient noise. Um, if you have battle happening around where this is going on, people shouting and screaming, you may not need to mask it. Uh, you could ask your players to wear uh, earplugs for some reason or some sort of something that muffles their sound. I don't know, I'll leave the plot devices up to you as to why, but work around that noise. Um, now if you're on a spacecraft and you're doing sci-fi and maybe this is 
painted neon green and it's supposed to be an alien egg or something, uh, then you know that could just be the sound of the machines running. That could just be the sound of the ship. Uh, maybe you have this in a broken air duct or something, I don't know, floating there. Whatever you want to do, but find a way to mask the sound. Don't just throw this out there like this and have a whole bunch of noise. Find some sort of creative way to mask the sound. To me, that is the only drawback of doing this. Um, there are ways to do this with magnets, but then that starts to cost money. Magnets to me would be the ultimate because you can have a very similar effect with magnets. Unfortunate drawback of that is that it does cost money. And, you know, I try to keep things inexpensive on the channel so that anyone can build these. And I believe that anyone can build this. And I hope that you do. And if you do, please share photos with me. Let me know how it worked out for you. I'm on social media at LARP Mix. You can also uh, leave a video link or something down in the comments below. However you want to get it to me, email me. My email address is in the description below. I would love to see how this worked out for you. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this project. If you did, please click like. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already considered becoming a patron of the channel, there's links below to do all that stuff. But please, most importantly, just share my videos. Let people know that I'm out here making this awesome LARP content for you that you're not getting anywhere else. And just show them my videos so that everyone can sort of have fun and be involved with the hobby. And we have a lot of free time <laughs> right now until LARP season starts back up again. Uh, you know, Unless some of you are LARPing, which is cool. Um, but for those of us that aren't, a lot of free time to build these cool projects and think about how we want to incorporate them into our games. And I hope that you consider doing that. And of course, until next time, adventure on.